What's up YouTube? So today we're going to be installing the SSD heatsink in my laptop. Now my SSD is aftermarket so I didn't get the heatsink and this is how the heatsink looks like. I got it from Dell. The part number will be on the screen. You can order from them. It's only $4.99. I also got four screws. Okay, so from what I can tell to install, it looks like you have to unscrew your SSD. Okay. Now your SSD is going to stick out a little bit and there's a little tab on the left side that you have to insert the heatsink into. So you're going to insert the tab. And once the tab's inserted, you just got to push down and screw in the heatsink using the screw. It's kind of tricky to screw in because of the SSD popping back up. Okay. So once you screw it in, maybe apply some pressure. Don't press too hard. I know it looks like I'm pressing really hard. Don't do that. So let's check out the temperatures. As you can see, I was peaking at 84 degrees Celsius before and now I peaked at 73 Celsius. I did the exact same test the exact same time. So it looks like the heatsink does work. So if you have an SSD without a heatsink, you should try and order as soon as you can. Otherwise, the SSD runs kind of hot. Alright guys, see you in the next one.